Hello everyone, my name is Kate and welcome back to Lost in My Library. Today we are going to do a book tag. Today we are going to do the rapid fire book tag. Um, I am not in my normal space because um, I'm in the midst of fixing all of this. It's not in a good state right now. So, I'm about to pull up the questions and then I will rapid fire. You just got to think on your feet. I think that's how this goes. I haven't seen a video of this. I have no idea what the questions are. So, sit back, relax, and watch some rapid fire questions and knowing a little bit more about me. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at my computer screen here um, for the questions and then I will tell you the answers and I'll, you know. Alright, so first question, is ebook or physical book? I love physical books. Physical books, there's just something about holding a physical book that just makes it so much better. I love having physical books. Um, but ebooks you can have more of, but there's just something about having a physical book in your hands that just is like, mm, so much better. Okay. Paperback or hardback? Hardback. Because paperbacks get messed up very easily. And that's the only reason. Anyways. Yeah. Hardback because paperback gets messed up very, 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 very easily. Okay. Online or in-store book shopping? In-store. I don't like online because, I don't know, I like to hold books. <laughs> I like to have books and I just like having it right then and there, not have to, having to wait for shipping. So I like in-store shopping better than online. Trilogies or series? Um, I'm a big fan of series. I'm a big fan of like just worlds, um, like Percy Jackson that is they're all set in the same world uh, or just Rick Riordan and you know writing I do enjoy series but trilogies are good too um, but I just I like having a lot of books <laughs> okay heroes or villains ooh heroes or villains villains can be very 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 interesting and a lot more interesting than the heroes of the story they both can make or break the story. Um. Ooh. I think villains, because you have to have more of a driving force for the heroes. I think vil you need to have a good villain to have a good hero. So, I'm going to say villain. Alright, a book you want everyone to read. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, because it's so freaking good, and it's just like this coming of age, kind of this coming of age story, but it's about friendship, and it's, oh, it's a good contemporary, it's actually a very, 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 very good contemporary, and if you think, it, there's no romance in this, and just like, oh, good rap in it, oh, so good, anyways, Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Recommend an underrated author. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. On BookTube, I don't hear a lot of people talking. And, like, when you're thinking about everything in the large scheme of things, he's a huge author. But when you're talking about BookTube, I hear, rarely hear people talking about Rick Riordan. And I think people have just given up on Rick Riordan, but I love, love, love Rick Riordan, even though it's technically like middle grade stuff. I love Rick Riordan. I love his stories. His stories are amazing. Um, if we're not talking about that, um, I'm just thinking about like booktube in general and who I don't see. I'm looking at my shelves, if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Um, Toni Morrison and Margaret Atwood, I hear hardly anything about these two authors. I freaking love them. They're so good. Um, 
I'm going to throw out Jim Starlin as well. He's a he's a comic book writer. Really, really good. He wrote Batman and Death in the Family, and he also created Thanos. So, The last book you finished, my last book I finished was, and it's sitting over there somewhere, um, Picture of Dorian Gray. Yep, that's the last book I finished. Okay, weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. Um, a tag, like a close tag. Yeah, that's the weird, probably the weirdest thing I've used as a bookmark. Use book, yes or no? Yes! I love going to Goodwill and picking up books. Um, I can pick up like 9 or 10 at a time, and I have problems. But, and it'd be like 9 or 10 dollars, like 9 or 10 books, and it'd be like 10 bucks, and it's great. Yes. Top 3 favorite gener genres. Uh, fantasy, sci-fi... Uh, no, we'll do fantasy, mis no, we're going to go mystery, fantasy, um, sci-fi. That'll be my top three. Okay. Borrow or buy? Buy. I hate borrowing. I do, I'm not a big fan of borrowing, but I love library books. I've gotten into library books since I've started reading more again. So, but I, I read very slow, so I like to have to buy books but um, anyways character or plot ooh, ooh um I do like characters but I think I'm more plot driven than character driven long or short books long love long books I love having a lot to read um the quantity books isn't a big thing for me. It's just, oh, I love long books. And then the first three books you think of: Batman and Death in the Family, um, Magnus Chase, The Sword of Summer, because it's sitting right here, and Alex and Eliza, uh, A Love Story, which I'm reading right now. Uh, okay. Books that made you laugh or cry. Um, Ahsoka. Ahsoka made me cry. Um, the seventh Harry Potter made me cry. Uh, i trying to think. Um, oh, Radio Silence did. Radio Silence made me cry a little bit. Um, probably the last Percy Jackson book did. I would imagine. Um, third or fourth, well, House of Hades did because I was, like, so excited and so happy in the end. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Our world or fictional? Fictional. I love fictional worlds. So great. Mm. Just, like, there's so much more that you can do with fictional worlds that you can't do with a world world. So, I'm going to go with fictional. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. I I mean, I like carrying having a book, but also audiobooks is nice to listen in the car. So. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Sometimes. Like, I don't even want to touch those historical fiction books. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that are, like, the mass paperback. I don't even want to touch those. But I'm sitting here, and I'm judging that when I just bought this copy of uh, Carrie, which is in that style as well, the, the mass paperback books. I think that's what they call them. Anyways, kind of. So, we're going to go with yes. Okay. Book to movie or book to TV? TV, because TV... They can do so much more with TV, and you don't have to cram everything, and it's so much better. So much better. A movie or a TV show that you're preferred to the book? Ooh. I don't know. Um. I haven't seen it. But I didn't like the book. And I love the cast that they have for the movie. I'm going to go with 
uh, Murder on the Orient Express. I love the cast. Although I did see the ending and it looked kind of stupid, but I'm hoping the movie is so much better. Okay. Anyways. Series or standalone? Series, I love having. Oh, I just love having so much. But series can drag on, um, and standalone sometimes can be really, really good. Oh, that's it. That's the end. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this book tag. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Tell me what you think in the comments. Anything, literally anything. What are you reading right now? What's, what is your current book that you are reading? And if you want to um, answer these questions down below, I tag everyone that's watching this video because you're cool. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.